good morning to all myself khilesh kumar assistant professor in english this is your english literature class and welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video we will complete our remaining poem night of the scorpion so yesterday we have discussed about the introduction to the poet and brief part of the poem so now in today's session part 2 of the poem night of the scorpion and we have studied that night of the scorpion composed by nissi magical nissi magical was an indian jewish poet he got sahitya academy award in 1983 he is very expert in subtle and well crafted diction so we have discussed that this poem has been taken from nissi magical's volume of poems the exact name and uh, in the poem the poet mentions about a incident and uh, how the scorpion stung his mother and uh, after stung his mother what was the reaction of his mother uh, what was the reaction of his father what was the reaction of his people peasants neighbors and uh, we were reading that a scorpion stung poet's mother and uh, after some time village people started to come and they all sat around poet's mother and poet's mother was suffering with pain so next so now your remaining part and all the village people started to pray so that the scorpion might be paralyzed so the poet mentions in the poem that the village people believed that if they pray the scorpion might be paralyzed and if the scorpion will be paralyzed it will be unable to move and the pain which is running or we can say the poison which is running in the blood of poet's mother will also not move so it was believed that with the movement of that scorpion the poison moves in poet mother's blood so all the villagers started to pray so that scorpion might be paralyzed they searched for it they all are searching the scorpion so that they can stop that scorpion movement so they searched for it with candles and lanterns lights candle and lantern lights 
but they couldn't find it but they couldn't find it the people believed that the poison moves in his mother's blood with the movement of the skull the poison moves the poison moves in his mother's blood with the movement of the scorpion so they prayed that it might sit still next they prayed that the sins sins of her previous birth these village people or especially in indian rural society previous birth and next birth they believe in previous birth and next birth they believe in fortune misfortune so they prayed that the sins of her previous birth would be ended because poet's mother is suffering with pain and by suffering her previous birth would be ended sorry her previous birth sins the sins of her previous birth would be ended and her sufferings would decrease the misfortune of her next birth and even her sufferings would decrease decrease diminish the misfortune of her next birth they believed that this poison will purify her body of desire and it is spirit of ambition so this poison will purify her body of desire and spirit of ambition means she will be purified by this poison in her physical as well as spiritual the poet's father was a septic septic means atheist so poet's father had a scientific temper he was a septic atheist he doesn't believe all these things and rationalist he put some powder and the herbs on the bite he poured a little paraffin so poet's father didn't believe in fortune misfortune previous birth next birth so he was applying some kind of medicine to cure the bite a holy man had been called a holy man had been called by the people by the neighbors actually poet's father doesn't believe in all these things so village people called a holy man he performed some rites the holy man performed some rites 
and recitation of mantras so that poison can be decreased. So, a holy man had been called by people. He chanted mantras. He performed some rites so that poison can be decreased. Next. At the end of the poem, the poet mentions his mother's love for children. So, this is the main theme of this poem. Mother's love for children. And through this incident, the poet wants to convey a message. And he is successful to convey his message at the end of the poem. So, yes, his mother says at the end of the poem, the poet mentions that his mother says at that time. She is very careful about. She is very careful for God because the scorpion had beaten her early. She is very careful for God because the scorpion had beaten her only and spared her children. Means his mother is very grateful, very thankful for God that the scorpion had not beaten her children. The scorpion had beaten her only. So here the point gives a great message of mother's love for children. Mother always care about his children and he always, sorry, she always prays to God that all the sorrow, all the suffering may happen with her, not with her children. She always wishes for her children and he sorry she doesn't want any kind of problem on her children. So here in this poem also poet's mother is very thankful for God by saying that scorpion had beaten her only and spared her children. Means the scorpion had not beaten her children. The pain sees suffering. By the scorpion. And the pain She is suffering by the scorpion. She does not want for her children. So she is very thankful for God because the scorpion had beaten her only and spared her children. So this is a great message. Mother's love for children. So this is your remaining poem. Night of the Scorpion by Nisim Ezekiel and subscribe this YouTube channel and thank you so much.